Matt was up hours before we needed to go. He was showered, he had my outfit all ready. Even though he knew that we were gonna be here for 10 hours today, he was ready hours beforehand, waiting for practice today, waiting to be a part of live art. Bye, Mom, I'll see you later. So we have a show to do, we have a job to do, we're excited and it's fun, but we're gonna be safe, right? And we're gonna stay connected to each other. She has some emotional challenges, and sometimes things get very big for her very fast. Now when we came to the Altria, things got big again. We took her pictures outside the front, and she was just thrilled to be a part. But then when she came in, there was this big moment of, oh my gosh, I'm here, and, and it's big, and I'm not sure what to do. I guess I can still see my daughter as that little tiny baby swaddled up. And so I know as soon as I get up and grab this grown, lovely young, young woman's hand and dance with her, it's gonna be a little emotional, but I'm not trying not to think about that right now. When you see the kids and you start to, you know, see what they've done and, and watch them, you know, just shine and then just pour all that love that they've put into the show all year long and like, it's kind of like all roads lead here, you know, and uh, and there's no there's no getting around it. <laughs> there's no detour. It's just like it's a one way ticket. It's kind of like being able to see an eclipse. Live art is a similar thing. You have this opportunity to come to a theater and see these kids, these artists, these volunteers, these techs all moving together to script, poetry, rhythm, music, dance, paint flying everywhere. It's a Vegas show that's landed on Richmond, Virginia for two hours. Great. The kids, the artists, the musicians, everybody is waiting for the moment the song begins. And as soon as the music starts, your real self appears. Do you ever get worried? You're alone, hard to bear. Because you do walk into it with a certain sense of unknowingness. And as it begins to pick up, after one song, after one dance, you start to go like, oh, that's it, oh, that's it. And it becomes this sort of incredible opening and sort of unveiling of spirit. If you ever need... How is this live art for you? It's amazing. I... <laughs> I think that everybody's goal here is to be to show the audience that everybody here has something to do, has something to honor, and has something to give. She mentioned to me the other night that she kind of likes hanging out with people who are kind of maybe not where she is in terms of ability, maybe beyond where she is, but that everybody's able to come together and it's just okay to be who you are. She loves that. What's up, guys? Live art has changed me throughout the years. I've been in it for four years. And I think this is my last one performing, you guys. Because I'm going to college after this. I'm not scared anymore. I would tell my friends and stuff, and they would help me calm down and help me kind of, you know, get focused and stuff. But now, man, I just love performing. I heard a mom behind me say, if you, if you had told me years ago, my son is autistic, that I would be doing a dance on stage with my son, I would have never believed it. Her success level just skyrocketed. And she can communicate better. She dances with explosive energy. To realize that they have a voice in this world and that this world needs every single one of those voices, and there is power to that. Also help me find friendships, help me find happiness that I've never had before. It feels like family to me. I love you all. You. 
she understands that by sharing this light and this talent and this color that she can really change other people's lives. And it's it started to happen with, with Live Art and with Spark. It's cool. Like seeing a kid do something that they hadn't been able to do right. before, that they have, uh, they have accomplished this, it makes you want to give other people the support of like, you can, yes, you can do this, because this whole community is like that, you know, they just, they're always about lifting people up. I love it. I mean, I just, I just love it. I, I just love everything about it. The people are wonderful. The teachers are wonderful. They're a wonderful example for the community and everybody around us. I mean, it's just... It's just lovely. It's just lovely to see all of the realness in people come out. I think everybody will leave and say, I cannot believe what I just saw. I cannot believe what I just felt, saw, heard, and I can't believe that I can actually feel like this. Because it's, it's not something that, I don't, I don't think people feel this way every day. And they know, like, everyone is, is watching them, and it's so awesome, you know, to show the world, you know, what we can do. You're trying to make as much change, and you're trying to spread this out as far as you can into the community to make change. That's what I love so much about Spark and Live Art. You're actually making the change through changing people's lives. Hi, Matt. This is This show was incredible. We are all just so proud right now in the moment for pulling the whole thing off. Vibe Art Blue! You did so great! I'm so proud of you! The vibe was just electric. I mean, the, the crowd was just alive. I mean, yeah. it, was, it was just amazing. You get to shine as bright as you can. Everyone is important there. I mean, it's a great place to be. And not only was it professional, to pull in some of the talent they had yep. and to do it the way they did, it was, it was awesome. I think it's the happiness of everybody. I mean, I felt like getting up and dancing myself. You just have to go to it. There's no explaining it. You don't experience it until you're in the audience and until you're watching it. You, you have to go. Yeah, well, my life, and then can we next year?